Hey everyone, so as I told you that I have three more parts of this tentative PhD interview questions video. So this is the second part of it. So if you haven't watched the first video on PhD interview questions, please pause this video right now and go back to that video because in that video I tell you about also four subcategories into which these PhD interview questions fall into. So in all and also generally there's not a specific format for PhD interview questions because it highly depends on your PI, on the lab, on uh, also what they require from you at a specific graduate school and also for the specific project and also what are you tailored as so what are your skills and so all these things are very different and uh, hence we don't have a specific format for PhD interview questions but I just decided that I have documented all the questions that um, were asked to me and I also had a list of tentative PhD interview questions before I gave my PhD interview uh, interviews so basically this really helped me to frame my thoughts well ahead and um, it was not something mechanical when I went through the interviews but it is always useful when you think through all these things well before because there are some questions which require certain uh, time and you can't just answer them spontaneously so it just prepares you well mentally for the PhD uh, interviews and also gives you a lot of confidence so continuing with these questions in today's video I have five more questions for you um, there are two general questions uh, two questions which belong to the category of technical um, expertise and there is one question which is concerning future planning. So let's start with the one that is concerning future planning. So uh, they might ask you that what are your plans for next five to ten years and this is something that you would want to think through and not just spontaneously answer. Well I mean I have seen certain people who know this but most of us don't know what might happen even tomorrow so it's, it's actually good to spend some time thinking about what you want to do in the next five to ten years and that should somehow relate to your uh, position that you're applying to all right then the two general questions so one is concerning language and this does not apply to uh, universities in the US and also probably Australia but this really applies to the PhD positions that you apply for in the European countries so this is something that um, they might ask you is that um, do you have knowledge of so and so language so this is question number seven question number um, eight is something that is uh, really important in my opinion and this is uh, the question that determines or uh, detects your personality and also what sort of a person you are so this is um, what interests you have apart from being interested in this particular field and this is something that I find very interesting because through this question you can literally see what the person is like so whether they are introvert extrovert whether they like doing um, sports or not and all these things so make sure that you spend uh, some minutes on this prepare on this question as well well I can't say what sort of questions you'll be asked but these are certain questions which were asked to me and also like you know I have told you a million times that I made a list of these so it's really helpful and maybe you want to also document those so that um, later on if you want to create a video like me you can do so as well um, then we move on to the two technical questions uh, so question uh, pertaining to the technical field question number nine is that what sort of internships you've done and this is very important because you then have to make sure that you know uh, during which year during which month you did which internship what did you learn and then this connects to question number 10 so question number 10 is what did you learn from each internship and I find this one also very important because then it shows how passionate you are in research and what are the key uh, so what are the key concepts or what is the take home message from each internship so make sure that you write this down and also 
sort of rehearse this because most of the times when we have to explain something to someone and especially if we know that they are giants in the field we become nervous so i would suggest that you practice this and write this have it documented have all these things printed out so that if needed you can probably read it or read it to them all right but uh, it's so often preferred that you have it at the tip of your tongue so that's quite about it for today's video I have two more videos on this so we will be continuing with the tentative PhD interview questions I hope these videos are helping you and if you have any questions write them down in the comment section below and for those of you who have been asking me what am I doing um, so I am doing my PhD at the Department of Neurosciences at the University of Zurich in Switzerland and I am working on clinical trials so uh, my broad field of research is chronic pain and I work on neuroimaging. So my projects are uh, to understand the neural substrate of chronic pain. And um, yeah, that's quite about it. I see you in another video. That's it for today's video. Bye for now.